this part, I'm going to talk about modifying dimensions. For example, if I want to change the dimension style of this dimension, I just need to select this dimension object and click Dimension Style Control List and select a new one. You can notice the immediate change in the dimension. Next, I will double click on this dimension, highlight the number and change text height and text style. Then move to the end of the line and add some text here. OK. It's just to give an example, so I will delete this. We can also modify dimension properties with options in Property Palette. To open Property Palette, you can select this dimension and right-click, select the Properties option, or press Ctrl-1. And then you can see that you are able to modify almost all the dimension properties here. I'm going to change arrow type for arrow 1. I will change the arrow type to closed blank. So does the arrow 2. And I will change the text position. You can see it changes immediately. Here the dimension crosses over the objects and other dimensions. So I want to use the dimension break command to break them. Select this dimension to add break and select Auto option. You can see the dimension line is broken where they intersect. The dimension break is associated, so if I click and drag on this dimension, its location will update accordingly. Let's repeat the command. This time I will select multiple options and window select these dimensions. Press Enter, and again select Auto option. You will notice every dimension and extension lines are broken where they cross other objects. Explore more in JustaCAD Dimension Tutorial Part 5.